I've been talking to a lot of people in the vehicle repair industry and one of the prevailing comments that's always made is, hey, this little 2010 Honda Fit hit a 2010 Toyota Tundra truck. So who do you think is going to win that fight? Well, first of all, you got to realize this. This was not a frontal to frontal impact. The Honda Fit actually impacted into the wheel well of the Toyota Tundra. What is the weakest link in any vehicle? It's either the rear end or the front fender well. That's the first point. The second point I want to talk to you about is there's a lot of people in the vehicle industry, repair industry, that really have no concept of the importance of a roof panel. I want you to think about this. The roof panel on a vehicle, although it may be extremely flimsy and flexible, that's precisely what it's supposed to do. It's no different than a piece of plywood that you stick on a house when you're framing the house. For those of you out there who have framed a house with two befores or two sixes, you take that you take that frame and you and you secure it. You can move that frame sideways, sideways, side to side. And guess what? The second you attach the plywood, what does that create? It creates a phenomenon known as a shear panel. It's no different than when I go and buy an IKEA bookshelf. That IKEA bookshelf, it looks like it's rickety. It looks like it's going to fall apart the second I put any books on it. But guess what? The second I put that little cardboard panel on the back, what happens? It becomes rigid because everything is tied together like a system. I want you to think about this concept. If you do not have your safety systems tied together, you will literally have a failure after failure after failure because of something called the domino effect. I'm going to discuss the domino effect in a part two discussion, so I want to thank you for your time today.